What is up everyone, I am Xavier from CG Life and in this video you're going to learn an awesome little known trick for projecting geometry onto other objects and how to fix poor connections afterwards. If you are new to my channel be sure to consider subscribing for more and giving this video a like and I just made a discord server so if you want to help with Blender or to just hang out the link will be down below. Now without further ado let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is change the proportions of the cube a little bit. So I'm just going to scale it on the Z axis. Like so, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to make a plane to actually project onto the cube. So shift A and add a plane. And I'll bring it up a little bit and scale it in in edit mode. Alright, so now I'm going to go to top view with 7 on the numpad to edit it and I'm just gonna pull the vertices around a little bit so you'll be obviously projecting whatever geometry you have so now I'm gonna select all with A and do Control shift B to bevel all of the vertices and I'll just scroll my mouse wheel up to increase the vertice count there we go and I'm just gonna scale this and move it there Alright, so now it's time to actually project this geometry onto our cube. So one thing to bear in mind is that the view is actually taken into account, it's projected from the view. So in this case we're projecting like that, so we want to be looking at it from the top view. So what you want to do is select all the objects that are being projected, and then you want to shift select the object that is being um, projected onto. So now I'm going to go back to top view and now you have to go into edit mode and go to mesh and click on knife project and you'll see just like that it projects it onto our cube down here. So now I'm just going to hide the plane. So now you'll see Blender has automatically found two closest points and connected it because uh, it needs some supporting geometry, at least two. So when you have bevels, this can cause an issue if you have them overlapping or too close to each other. So what I'm going to do is do a knife cut through the center. So I'm going to hit Z to, sorry, seven to go to the top view. So now, if make sure you're in edit mode. I'm going to hit K to activate the knife tool. So now you'll see we have some options down here. So C uh, will allow you to draw a straight line, so I'll hit C. And Z will allow you to cut through the mesh, so I'll hit that as well. And you can click on a point and cut through and click again. And then you can hit enter to finalize the cut. So now the last thing we have to do is select these two edges and hit Control X to dissolve them. And there you go, so now you can do whatever you want. Um, with your new projection cut. I'm just going to extrude this down and uh, smooth shade it and turn the auto smooth value up a little bit. Get those corners there. If you're wondering how I did that pie menu to auto smooth, you can check out my custom pie menu tutorial. There'll be a link up here somewhere. That about wraps up today's tutorial. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And another reminder that I have a new Discord server, so the link will be below if you want to come hang out. Thanks for watching CG Life, and I'll see you in the next video.